I'm Justin Stebbing, I'm the NIHR Research Translational Professor at Imperial. So I was in the first batch of people to be given one of these prestigious awards. And what that's enabled me to do is to set up an independent research lab, a group, aiming to link the clinic to the lab and the lab to the clinic. And specifically, we're trying to make a new cancer drug, which is an ambitious, but we also think it's an achievable and laudable goal. Because at the end of the day, what we're all trying to do here is help sick people get better. Um, my heroes, if you like, are the patients and the scientists we work with. Patients go through a tremendous amount and the scientists work unbelievably hard, combining a wonderful intellect with a great passion for trying to do more and do better to help increase the cure rate from cancer. This prestigious NIHR fellowship has given me the opportunity to set up my own lab and focusing on new targets against cancer. What we are currently working on is a new protein that we have previously identified two and a half years ago, LMPK3. And what we are aiming to do is link the lab work with clinics. Take breast cancer specifically, which is the subject of the NIHR Research Translation Professorship. 70% of breast cancers overexpress the estrogen receptor. But despite the cure rates going up and up, about 1.5% of women per year diagnose relapse with incurable disease. So although 550,000 women are living with breast cancer in this country, about 1.5% of those per year relapse. And at that point, the disease is no longer co considered curable. Now, it used to be thought they lost their estrogen receptor. But now what we know happens is that proteins inside the cell keep the estrogen receptor turned on, despite the drugs they're on, and despite our attempts to block those oestrogens or other factors in the cells turning on the oestrogen receptor, we now know that molecules or proteins called kinases add a phosphate group to the oestrogen receptor as an on signal. So they turn the oestrogen receptor on even if tamoxifen or other oestrogen receptor blocking drugs are present. So we identified a new gene called LMTK3 which, interestingly, isn't really present in chimpanzee genomes. Maybe that's why humans are the only animals that get estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. And we're trying to block that new gene by crystallizing, by understanding how it works inside the cell, and it's massively exciting. And if we can help people, this could be huge, because most drug development is focused on different types of breast cancer, such as HER2 positive disease or triple negative disease. Breast cancer has lots and lots of diseases, all cancers lots and lots of diseases, but the commonest type of breast cancer is estrogen receptor positive disease. So if we can understand how that becomes resistant to a chemotherapy and hormonal therapy, we can understand how to unblock it. Justin Stebbing is one of the key researchers here and leads a very important team trying to understand why breast cancer becomes resistant to treatment. Uh, as you may know, breast cancer uh, treatment has been remarkably successful over the last 20 years. We've doubled the cure rate, uh, but resistance is still a big problem. And until we understand what causes resistance, we can't develop any drugs to uh, prevent it. And already, this team here, they've already developed uh, particular targets and drugs that I hope are going to result in new treatments for the future. So we have already preliminary data about the molecular mechanism of action of this protein called LMPK3 in estrogen receptor signaling and in breast cancer progression using different in vitro and in vivo models, as well as cancer patient uh, tissues. And now our next step are actually to get more information about the molecular pathways that LMTK3 is involved in and in order to understand the mechanism of its action. In parallel with focusing on breast cancer, we are also investigating the role of LMTK3 in other types of cancer, including prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer and brain cancer. Again, the preliminary results are very exciting, which show that basically LMTK3 is ubiquitously expressed in different types of cancer. However, the mechanism of action seems to differ. Our project that we, are, we aim to start soon is based on satellite technology, which is mass spectrometry quantitative proteomics, and we wish to identify all the proteins that are modulated after overexpressing and inhibiting LMTK3 in various breast cancer, pancreatic, and prostate cell lines. 
In addition, as LMDK3 is a kinase, using the Sally technology, we will also check the effects on the phosphoprotein levels uh, and the modification after overexpressing all silence in LMDK3. All this information actually will give us enormous data about the pathways and interacting proteins that LMDK3 interacts with and the pathways that it's involved in, therefore getting more information about where exactly we can focus our work in order to design a specific drug that can inhibit LMDK3 and its downstream targets. This I would consider this to be as my lifetime project because it's the identification of a new protein that we have endless project to work on for the next years and based on the results that we have up to now it seems that it can, has a high possibility that it can also be applied in patients and hopefully we will have uh, good results in the near future.